Hi everyone, thanks for joining this latest webinar. Uh, behind me, latest forecast precipitation for the next seven days, which includes uh, all the west. So everyone's going to have rain. Um, right now, there's some uncertainty in how much rain will make it, uh, especially into Southern California. So let's talk about that uh, coming up. Uh, here's a summary. Patchy fog again. Uh, we've got warm air over the cooler water. There is a weak weather system on Wednesday. So that'll bring some wind to the deserts. Um, otherwise, uh, warming up again before this weekend storm potential. So Thursday's a mild day, especially in the higher terrain in the deserts. The storm approaches on Saturday. It looks like most of Saturday should be dry. So it would come in late in the day for Southern California. The jet stream is split. So we've got energy going to the north and south. We'll talk about that. There is a very broad atmospheric river with this system. So it's not really focused. Uh, which is good news, everyone gets some rainfall. Uh, the next um, precipitation round for Sunday, Monday, the main storm uh, could be significant, uh, but there's high uncertainty. So behind that, it uh, looks like the end of the month could return to drier weather and mild weather. Um, very strong jet stream in the Pacific, uh, but it's not staying focused together, not reaching the West Coast in one piece. Okay, um, here's a look on our web page, you can find this information too. You can see fog and low clouds, even at night. I took a snapshot early this morning of the fog that was located across the San Diego coast. And look north too, there's fog in the Central Valley of California. And I just took this shot this afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, and the fog remains, Thule fog in the Central Valley of California, even though our fog cleared out. Ours is associated with the marine air. There is an air quality alert. We post that information on weather.gov, as shaded in green here. The air is stagnant, uh, so we have a lot of warm air over a relatively cooler air. Uh, that's in between storm systems, and that's common in January. Okay, the lack of precipitation that's resulting in the fog is also reflective here. In Southern California, we're only about 50% of average, so we're very short. Um, even though temperatures have been right around average with cool nights and mild days, precipitation has been between 25 to 50% of average in that deep red shaded area for much of the Southwest. The snowpack in the state, some good news here, even though it's only half full, half as much as it should be for this time of year, it did make progress over the past week. So now up around 50%. The jet stream. Uh, this is a reflection of the storm track from November 1st all the way through mid-January. And this is why storms have been weaker. The flow has been split with energy going to the north and south. This has energized the southern stream of the jet stream, of the subtropical jet stream, but weakened a lot of the cooler air because it's split and separated. Now, big things are going on in the central and northern Pacific, and that's showing up here with the purple and red right next to each other. That couplet is the powerful jet stream that has been persistently energized over the Central Pacific, but it's not making it to the West Coast uh, as one. Okay, uh, and the reason why it's powerful in the Central Pacific is partially because of the El Nino that continues. Well-established, warmer than normal conditions in the Central Pacific Ocean. We do see a weak weather system coming through on Wednesday, uh, and then we return to even warmer conditions on Thursday, mild conditions. A little bit of wind on Wednesday is the bottom line. There should be a few showers as well, but you can see here the chances for precipitation Wednesday uh, are very low, mainly San Diego County. The jet stream, why so mild? Well, again, uh, it buckles up on Thursday ahead of the storm coming for this weekend. Uh, that places us in that dome of warm air above. So the mountains really get mild on Thursday. In fact, here are the temperatures. Uh, again, similar to what we saw over the weekend, getting into the 50s for the mountains and 60s for the high desert uh, and even mid 70s for the lower desert. So really mild conditions uh, return ahead of the storm uh, coming up. Now, what about this storm? Uh, why won't it hold together? Will it hold together? Well, right now, the latest average model data is showing a very powerful jet stream slamming into Northern California, but then splitting apart by Sunday. We do get into the subtropical portion of that jet stream. 
you can see the red line over Southern California. That subtropical portion will take a piece and the main piece of the atmospheric river. You can see this atmospheric river is broad and covering the entire West Coast, very unusual, um, not focused at all, but that Southern branch should move towards Southern California. Even though it looks like it weakens, uh, we do get brushed by the atmospheric river on Sunday into early Monday as shown here. Now, precipitation potential. Uh, widespread precipitation across the state, not big numbers, but we are talking one to three inches, uh, even for some of the valley areas uh, and tapering off as you go to the south. Okay, when you look at Southern California, a uh, high probability of rain for Sunday and Monday. So keep that in mind with any travel plans or outdoor activities. So we do expect rain, but it's a matter of how much rain. The latest forecast is shown here. It's a pretty significant amount that is predicted uh, with around an inch in most places. Uh, so the latest forecast, stay tuned because this may go up and may go down. Now, part of the reason why it may go up and go down because of the uncertainty of the track and the split in the jet stream, that southern energy could bring over an inch of rain to the coast, but that's a low probability. Now, the probability of getting some rain, light rain, is very high as shown here. Now, at the end of the month, um, you know, what does this storm mean? We're going to get rain Sunday, Monday from a Pacific storm and split jet stream. Does that mean a change in the weather pattern? Will it trend to more storms? At the end of the month of January, it doesn't look like that. Um, energy still stays off into the Pacific Ocean, leading us in the H, which is upper level high pressure area or dome of warm air or lack of storms. Now, this jet stream that I've been talking about, it pays a visit from west to east this weekend, Sunday, Monday, as shown here. In fact, it goes in a favorable position over San Diego, as shown here. We're just north of it. Now, that skirts off to the east uh, after this weekend and continues to storm us in the rest of the country. And it reloads in the Central Pacific, really strong, over 200 mile per hour jet stream, again, like we saw in late December this year that generated the big swell, reloads in the Pacific. But if you take a look at over California at the end of the month, we're nowhere near that jet stream. We're in a split part of the jet stream in the very end of it, as shown here. So that means the end of the month could end up being much drier than average you can see Southern California is the highest probability of below average. And remember, late January is a wet time of the year uh, on average in California. You can see it also means that some of that energy in the south means wet conditions and very mild conditions from the south into the Mid-Atlantic region. I'll leave you with the top 2023 events. Hard to believe that just a year ago today, January 14th through 16, we had a major atmospheric river in Southern California back to back that led to flash flooding, um, dozens of rescues in the San Diego River. The river almost reached 13 feet and the river in the ground was saturated. So we had rapid response that morning on January 16th from prior storms that moved across California. Six different atmospheric rivers from January 1st all the way through January 16th with two of them in one weekend last year. Stay safe, everyone. Hope you enjoyed.